Now that we've created a simple AND gate, we're going to look at importing a library and using our 7400 series gates as well. And if we look, we have our main here. And what we're going to do is add another circuit. So let's call this 7400. And we can now switch between these two views. And we have a nice blank setup here. Under project, I'm going to load a library. Before I do that, I'm going to show you the library that I want to load. And I will include this link in the description. But these are 7400 series. There are the dip packages and then the IC layouts here. And on the GitHub page, you can hit download and download the zip. I would unzip that into a folder that you can remember. And it should look something like Logi 7400 master. Within that structure are these two circ files that will import into our project. So when we go back into Logisim, we'll hit project load library and Logisim library. Let's load the IC package first. And we can see now under our tree, all of these different IC packages are loaded. So let's pull the 7408 since that's one we've used and we'll drag that in. And we can see now that we've got a block diagram of a 7408 and. Just for fun, let's load another library. Dip package. And we can see that showed up in our tree as well. And let's look at the 7408 dip. And you can see it's laid out just as the chip is laid out. So this might be more helpful for you to visualize. This is better for block diagramming. I'm going to use the block diagram version, the IC version. If we look at the layout here, this actually does a nice job of listing some of our inputs and outputs. So this is A1, A2, A3, and A4. This is B1, B2, B3, and B4. We have our outputs as Y1, Y2, Y3, and Y4. So we've got four two input AND gates. And let's bring in a pin. Let's bring in another pin. And let's use a pin as an output. And we'll keep this relatively simple. This is where it's really important once you start getting a lot of inputs and outputs to make sure that you logically wire your pins, inputs, outputs, that makes sense. So just having these two will allow us to line these up really nicely. Here it's very easy to visualize what's going on and we can add a label if we'd like, we can change the circuit name and let's just test our quick circuit. If I turn this high and this high, there we go. Our output is also high. Be careful, these are one set of inputs and these are the next set of inputs. It's not like the IC chip where this one and this one would be an input and then this would be an output. This and this are our two inputs for an AND gate and then our first output. So just make sure you check the labels as you're moving forward. Let's add one more set. And I'll put these push buttons in outside or pins rather, and let's choose the third set. So see how if I do this, those that's actually going to both of those inputs. So I'm gonna erase that, and you can see now, see how that's connected to all of those? So this is where it's really important to line up your uh, wires beforehand. So you can just click, drag, and then manipulate the wires as you need them. So this one should go straight in. So now we have a nice little layout here and we're gonna be using A3 and B3. So let's add a pin as an output and follow my grid. And you can see that was green beforehand to help you visualize. Let's use our poke tool, make sure everything works and is connected. So if that's high and that's high, there we go, there's our output. 
This should help you get started with importing libraries into Logison and using different gates and functionality within Logison.